Um, speaking of uh, cool guys, we watched um, the OG Batman so from 1989. Here's the thing. I remembered watching that and loving it, right? But I was 10. I'm 10 years old when this sure. comes out. And, you know, I just thought, Oh, you know, I think I hadn't seen a movie that cool at that, like, right? You know, it just stood out as like, this is a fucking banger of a movie. Watching it again all these years later, I didn't realize how much it was like paying homage to, uh, to like the throwback era, the like the 60s, yeah. like the, like the, the television show. Yeah. Until you like, until I watch it with adult eyes, I was like, "Oh, it's like it's paying its respect to that the whole time." Sure, it's a little more cartoony. Yeah, it's, it's a totally little less cartoony. Gunshots are like, boom, boom. Yeah. like, and like all the like the way that the Joker does things is like cartoonish. Mm -hmm. You know, it's I like, like it. Yeah, it's like it's more but exaggerated playfulness. It's you, not like no, it's corny. It's a little corny. Yeah, but you know what I liked is that Batman had lead in his pencil and he fucked Vicky Vale. And it was so cool because then he's like all emotionally unavailable because he's like, I'm Batman, I, I yeah. gotta fight crime, bitch. Yeah. And she's like, but I love you. Like, where are you? Yeah. And like, so toxic, you know, like their yeah. relationship is like. He's like, I'm going out of town. Yeah, <laughs> like, sir. Yeah, and she's like, oh, okay. And then she leaves and she tells Albert, Alfred, whatever. She's yeah. like, uh, I'll see you guys when you get back. And he's like, back? We're going to be yeah. here. And she's bitch. like, oh, yeah. fuck. He's like, I already nutted. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. It was so cool to see that. Yeah, it was great. I just miss like that kind of masculinity, you know? Like yeah. toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. That's what they call it now. Yeah. I miss it. Because in this current Batman, he's such a pussy. Like he doesn't even French Vicky Vale or nothing, dude. Really? He's such yeah, and at the end, I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> you gotta bleep that one out. And at the end, she's like, Why don't you come with me on my motorcycle and we can go fuck? And he's like, No. Nah. That's like, what happens at the uh -huh. end? Uh-huh. He's remember. such a pussy, right? Is that correct my memory? You guys remember? He was like... She invites him to fuck on the motorcycle? Like, she's like, come with me on my motorcycle and we can drive away and fuck. And he's all like... Mm -hmm. like he's just such a pussy, baby. Jesus Christ. He cries at the end of it. He is the knight. So you know? He's yeah. just defending the city. He's, he's got, just taking he's care of business. Yeah. No, but I like this Batman. He's just strong, virile. Yeah. Also, how about Nicholson? I mean... Maze. So he's amazing. He's fucking so rad. So rad. Uh, the, there's this scene in the beginning where he's banging his boss's girlfriend, you know? Yeah. And he gets up and he checks himself in the mirror. And he's like, and then she goes, you look fine. And he turns and he goes, I didn't ask. <laughs> and then he, her, her hand is on his shoulder and he goes, yeah. and she's like, oh, it's like the fuck out of here. Stupid. Yeah. You love that. <laughs> yeah. Tom great. was ear to ear during that scene. <laughs> And I, I go like, oh, is that how you want to treat bitches too? And he's like, no, I just think it'd be fun to be that guy. It's a fun character. Yeah. Playing the Joker. I mean, I'd be ultimate. the Joker is like an amazing character to play. Well, now they've layered the Joker up yeah. so that he's mentally ill. Now it's a mentally ill guy. That's what, in that version, it's a cartoonish villain, but it's still, you know, he just brings something that you can't, I mean, you can't teach or coach what Jack Nicholson does. You know, yeah, he, does, he brings his Jack flair to it. But he's just like, it's so fun to watch him. It's so fun to Can watch I him. Can I tell you what's great about Jack Nicholson mm. in comparison to Rex, um, the astral orgasm guy? Uh-huh. Is like, Jack fucks. Yeah. Jack fucks a lot and he fucks yeah. well. Like, you know for a fact that Jack Nicholson will fuck you well. You know he'll fuck you well? I think so. I think he's had so many ladies. I, don't, I disagree. I think he's going to be good at it. You don't think Jack Nicholson's a good lay? I, here's the th I didn't say that. I'm saying the statement like, you know he's going to fuck you. I, I think what happens is this guy is known for being like a Lothario. Oh, so and he's lazy. Yeah, it, it, you are there to be like, I get to fuck Jack Nicholson. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I got him confused with And when with you the... go like, you shut the door, you're like, who's this? And he's like, what's your name, dear? And oh, then yeah. he's like, oh, yeah, she's going to be with us. You know, it's going to it's gonna be a threesome. You know what it is? Yeah. Sorry. I just got <laughs> I just got confused because I watched The Witches of Eastwick where yeah. he's like a good lover. I think that's where I got that idea. I'm not from. saying he's a poor lover. I think the, I just think that like it's Jack, like. Yeah. You're polishing the knob for a while. Well, and, and now he's very old. So yes, I, he's in his 80s now. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, bet he doesn't have to go to Columbia. Jack Nicholson does not have to go to Columbia to get laid. No. 
Yeah. Jack Nicholson just looks out the door and goes, hey, you, yeah. come here. He's the best, dude. Yeah, he's I great. I love him. He's fucking awesome. You know what's really cool about him, too, is that he became famous later in life. Like, 28 was, I think, when he got his first role. Uh-huh. And what is it, Easy Writer? And I, but didn't he write that movie or something? Like, he had a hand in... I don't think he wrote it, but... That he, film. Yeah, he um he wasn't, like, a household name until he was, like, in his 40s, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, look at him. He's 80, 85, 86, 86 years old now. Yeah. Oh, yeah he's so watchable. Yeah. Yeah, he's There's just... Something about that guy. And, um, you know, some people go think he's over the top, but it's uh, it, it's um, <laughs> it's like, it's so well managed that it never feels like it's over the top to me. Never. Him and Christian Bale. I can watch those two guys on yeah. anything. I love it. Look at that. That first movie, Easy Rider, cost four hundred grand to make, and it grossed forty million. Yeah, it's crazy. fucking crazy in nineteen sixty nine. Sixty nine. That's a pretty good deal, huh? You like those odds? Yeah. yeah. That's some good. That's a good math. That's some good math right there. Someone's playing the JP and a well on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stupid. Anyway, I just thought it was so. It's it's kind of fun to watch movies that you haven't seen in that long and go, oh, I like that movie. And then realize that you kind of have very little recollection of the details and see it through a totally different lens. I just knew that I wanted to be Vicki Vale when I grew up because I thought Kim Basinger Basinger Mm -hmm. was like the most beautiful woman on the planet. I like that Prince did the music for it. I thought that Kim was also just so pretty. So beautiful. And yeah, the Prince mute like that. Oh my God. But the only thing as an actor though, just to, uh, to play around, like to go into a museum and deface artwork just as a scene would be so That's fun so to cool. do. Yeah, it's oh, so yeah, fun. That, spray look, painting, painting. How gorgeous Kim Basinger. I mean. Yeah. And that was natural. This is before Botox filler, getting your gorgeous. tits done. Like yeah. naturally this woman, her and Jerry Hall, Jerry Hall's in the movie too. Just yeah. stunning blonde yeah. Gosh, you're so pretty. She's you married look, to Alec Baldwin. You look fine. He's like, I didn't ask. <sighs> Dumb fucking broad. Okay, Tom. <laughs> a lot of rage towards the broads. Uh, Ooh, mommy, did you enjoy that highlight? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Look. Try it out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You're not going to miss a moment of denim, okay? Try it out. Be her.